I, I felt just like these three fingers. I felt a hand come on my ear just like that. And, and there was like a heat to the hand. I felt it so strong. And when that happened to me, all of the sudden, my ear began to open up. My, it's like my spiritual ears began to open up. And I'd never had anything like that happen before. The first thing I noticed was that there was a violin playing uh, along with the worship team. And one of my dear friends, she's a precious friend of mine to this day. She played violin with the worship team at Brownsville, you know, for many, many services. I looked over and the thing is, Rebecca wasn't there. She wasn't even there to play the violin, but I'm hearing violin. And I started thinking, oh my goodness, just being honest, I started thinking, am I losing my mind right now? Because I am hearing, I am hearing a violin. And just like she was standing there, but she's not, she's not even here. Well, I started weeping because I thought something's going on here. I'm not, I don't have an explanation for what's going on, but something's definitely going on here. And the, the heat of, of the hand of the Lord on my, on my ear, I was just like, something's happening. And the choir director looked up at me and she's like, what's wrong? And I said, I hear the violin, I'm motioning to her. And nobody would have thought this was a good worship service. I'm just being honest with you. She's like, what's wrong with you? I'm crying. She goes, what's wrong? And I said, I can hear the violin. And she said, I can too. And I pointed and our friend wasn't there. She started crying. She realized the Lord was doing something to me. Then I hear another violin and I'm going, what in the world? What is happening right now? I'm hearing instruments that aren't there. And then all of a sudden, I begin to hear a string orchestra as though I was standing in the room with the London Philharmonic. And it was, it was all around me. It was, it was happening in surround sound. I'm standing in what is a kind of depressing service. It's very heavy. There's been a lot of loss. This wasn't a good service. Nobody else remembers this as a good service except for me. And I'm hearing the sound of the Lord, the sound of this orchestra playing along with the worship team. They begin to play. They begin to play things that it was so, it supersedes anything I've ever heard a symphony play on earth. The progressions were so fast. It was breathtaking. I could hardly keep up. And I was going, oh God, what's happening? And then all of a sudden, as if this wasn't already, sensory overload for me. I saw an orchestra room. I began to have a vision. I'd never in my life, never had I had a vision before this particular moment. I'm hearing this sound of this orchestra, but now I'm seeing the orchestra room. It looked like, like something that you would have seen in England. It's, it's, it's the, the wallpaper on the walls and the chair rail and the mahogany finish. And I'm seeing the actual orchestra now and they're playing and I'm still hearing the worship team at Brownsville, but I'm also hearing the orchestra of heaven and I'm seeing this and I'm going, oh God. And I know, I know if anybody had been watching the video of that service, they had to think that something was wrong with the little girl from Georgia in the choir because I'm now going. I was blinking my eyes because it was happening. I was seeing it whether I opened my eyes or shut my eyes. It was like I was watching a movie of this orchestra playing all of those times that all of those people had said, God's going to open up your ears and you're going to hear the sounds of heaven. I had no idea what they were talking about. And when God finally did it, it freaked me out so bad. I was going, oh, Jesus, what are you doing? I'm going crazy on the platform of this church. It totally freaked me out. And then I began to see these white, wispy, almost incandescent dancers. It had to be angelic. They were, they were dancing along with the music. I'm hearing the choir sing around me. I'm hearing the orchestra of heaven play in my ears and I'm seeing these dancers dance. And I heard, it had to have been the Lord say, the dancers of heaven are dancing. And suddenly, just as quickly as this all started, it had come to an end. Seek. 
there's no one My soul is thirsty for you All that I am longs for you I yearn for your tender embrace The touch of your
Tracy's asking this. I'm a worship dancer. Can you elaborate a little more on what happens when we minister and dance? And this seems like it's a common question. People want to know when I do this on earth, 
what's it ha what's happening what is it accomplishing is i think is what she's saying what happens when i dance i mean i that could go a bunch of directions what is the lord doing what's happening in the spirit realm i mean is would you have any thoughts because you're a seer do you see people dance and then see things happening because of it i see a lot of mostly music of course i do see some dance and um sometimes you dance you you're not even on the floor like in the throne room they have a lot of dance and pageantry and stuff in there going on. It's absolutely beautiful. And of, of course, there's ways that you collect things as you dance, and then it's represented in some other way in heaven. Like you create artwork or paintings by your dance, um, even though it is with dance, it's not like you're painting with your feet, it's just something that's created as, as something to remember that by. Okay. And, and back for the for those that are dancing on earth, when you've seen people with the pageantry that God loves on the earth and they're they're waving their flags and they're dancing, do, does it affect the angels around them when they do that? Is something being triggered in a good way when they dance? It's, and I think that's what she's trying to get at. Do angels respond? Does, does our blessings drop down that, what, that we don't see? What does the dance accomplish? Or is it just... Dance. I know dance is considered a high praise. It even says that it is in the Bible. And so, yes, yeah, so even some of the hosts are, are absolutely um, amazed and really love the warfare that takes place as a dance or when you dance, like in the spirit about things. So that that is definitely something that takes place. I know all three of my daughters are dancers. Yeah. And they would actually yeah. war and dance in the spirit for people to be healed. Um, for messages to be sent, to be received. And so I would, I def definitely know whether it's dance, whether it's music, a lot of things are created in the spirit. Okay, awesome. Hi, my name is Pastor Stephanie Steeler, and I'm the lead pastor here at Revival and Healing Ministry. And I want to tell you about what we're doing here. We have a pastor school that we train pastors in, as well as we bought a new campus uh, that needs a lot of reparations. And uh, please join our page and go to the donation page on our website and help us out to get this campus in order. And none of our pastors on the payroll here or on the roll here, and we've got seven pastors here, none of us get any salary or pay or getting paid for what we do here. So all the money is going to go back in the building and on our pastor's course. We don't charge a fee for our pastor's course. It's absolutely free and we give you the books and everything. We're not... Uh, school that teach people to be prophets. We teach people to go out and do the gospel of Jesus Christ in a quick word and to prepare people to help other people with their salvation. So if you feel it on your heart to donate something little to the, to contribute to do this and make our campus look a little bit better, we bought this building for um, $88,000 and we are trying to fix it up. We're in a smaller city, and we it's just impossible to get a good building here. But with your help, we can change this building, and look it can look spectacular for the students and put more people out. So we are a church that teach and release. We Our ministry teach the people, and then we release them out there to go and do God's work.